Hello, my name is Marcus with MLC CAD Systems. Uh, this video is a brief tour of the simulation tool, designed to make you familiar with the features and how to use them. To get started, import your part and configure the settings. This part is the body of a gripper assembly attached to the end of a robotic arm. Settings that affect the simulation include the material, the orientation of the part on the print bed, and part settings, like fill density, the number of floor and wall layers, and the placement of fiber in the part, if it's used. When the part is configured, click the Simulation button. The first step in the simulation environment is to set up a use case. Click on a surface, and then select Create Anchor or Create Feature Load. Anchors are surfaces that are fixed and constrained from moving. On this part, we'll create anchors on the cylinders where the part is fastened to the robotic arm. Load surfaces are the surfaces where those external loads are applied. So in this example, a lateral load is transferred to the end of the gripper body from the gripper itself. You must create at least one anchor and one load. Orient the direction of the load using the gimbal or enter spherical coordinates. The end of the arrow can be clicked to rotate the direction 180 degrees. Finally, enter the magnitude of the design load in newtons. Then enter the performance requirements for the part. The factor of safety is the desired minimum load factor allowed in the part, while the max deflection is the desired maximum displacement allowed for the part with the given load case. Here is the factor of safety is 2 and the max deflection is 1 millimeter. This means that the part should withstand at least two times the design load before yielding can occur and it should not deflect more than 1 millimeter under normal loading. The second step is to run a validation. Validations typically require 30 seconds to several minutes to complete. The simulation will compute the minimum factor of safety and maximum deflection for the part given the part configuration and use case you defined. Results will appear indicating the location of the values on the part. In addition, color-coded indicators appear next to the requirements and provide a quick thumbs up or thumbs down assessment. The deformed shape of the part can be exaggerated using the slider at the bottom of the window. In this example, the computed factor of safety is 1.53. The tooltip points to the location of this value. This means that yielding is predicted to occur at a load of 230 newtons, which is 1.53 multiplied by the design load of 150 newtons. The compute, computed factor of safety is less than the required value of 2. In other words, the part is not strong enough. The computed maximum deflection is 0.76 millimeters, which is less than the maximum allowed value of 1 millimeter. So the part only meets the stiffness requirement and not the strength requirement. At this point, you have two options. The first option is to manually adjust the print configuration and run more validations to explore how these changes affect the performance of the part. For instance, if you want to consider different part orientations or different uh, fiber layouts, the second option is to run an optimization and have the software automatically run many different simulations as it surveys various print configurations with the objective of satisfying the performance requirements while minimizing print time and material usage. The optimization can take anywhere from 10 minutes to multiple hours to complete. It is safe to navigate away from Iger during the optimization process. When the optimization is successful, multiple solutions are presented with and without continuous fiber. Explore the solutions and choose one that satisfies the metrics most valuable to you. Is it part mass, print time, or cost? The choice depends on the application and the number of parts that you need to print. Select more options to view a table with all of the solutions. Click apply to create a new version with the optimized print settings and you're ready to print the part. Reach out today if you have any questions or would like to speak with one of our Markforged experts.